Hi, this is Chelsea Marks, and I'm filming for VETT 222, task number three, which is perform a blood smear and um, stain it. So we have, i um, going to go ahead and show you here that we have our OCCI certificate on the wall, and we have our supplies collected here. I'm wearing my lab coat, the goggles, um, and I have gloves here um, to wear as well. So a couple of the supplies that I have gathered, I'm going to go ahead and change the angle here so you can see and zoom in. So the supplies I've gathered here are my EDTA um, anticoagulated sample of blood. Um, we have a pen or a pencil to mark the end of your frosted slide with a patient ID number, their name, and the date. We have a micro hematocrit tube here that we're going to fill with the patient sample to deliver the one drop of blood to each slide. And we have a couple slides here. Um, we have four, actually. So one sample slide, one spreader slide, one sample sl slide, and one spreader slide. We have a tray that we're going to carry them over to our wet sink with. And we have some laboratory wipes in case we spill any of the blood. So um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and put on my gloves. And ahead of time, I'm going to go ahead and label our slides with the patient information, which is Jack, today's date, and his patient ID number. So we have this to show you here, Jack, today's date, and the patient ID number. So I'm going to do that on one other slide. And we're writing on the frosted end. Okay, and we have one more label. So we are now going to go ahead and um, perform the tabletop method. There's two methods to performing, um, creating a blood film. Um, the tabletop method utilizes just the table and a spreader slide and a sample slide and sliding it across. The handheld method, which we'll show in a moment, utilizes your thumb and your index finger. Your thumb is towards you, your index finger is away from you, the frosted end is also towards you, and you have your sample slide and your spreader slide, and you go ahead and do it in the air. Okay, so we're going to use the tabletop method first. I am going to move this towel out of the way here. And with our um, properly collected sample here for Jack, we're going to invert four to six times gently, just to get that sample mixed. And then we get a good representation of the blood. So now that we have that mixed, we're gonna go ahead and take the lid off. We are going to introduce a little bit of blood into that capillary tube, like so. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that tube off with a lab wipe so that we don't get blood on everything. i set that down for a second and recap our sample. You want to keep that sample because you may need it the rest of the day, you may need to do something else with it, the veterinarian may want it sent out um, for a repeat analysis by the lab. So we're going to keep that sample here to the side. And what we're going to do first here is go ahead and put one little drop of our, you know what I am going to do first is make sure the slide is clean because that is important. Okay and our spreader slide is also clean. If there's any pieces of glass stuck on there or any dirt, you're not gonna have a good film. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. So about once, one centimeter away from the frosted end, we're just gonna place a drop of the EDTA um, blood here. Okay. We're going to take our sample slide is sitting on the table here and our spreader slide is in my right hand. My left hand is securing the slide to the table here. With a 30 to 45 degree angle, we're going to take the spreader slide and slide it up towards the blood sample. And once it touches, we're gonna go ahead and watch it spread across the slide and then slide smoothly across to the end. So we get our sample. And it looks like so. It's hard to see here. And we have a nice, a thicker end and a thinner edge um, coming up to a feathered edge about two thirds of the way to the top. 
Um, and we're going to do that with the um, handheld method as well. So we're going to take our sample slide and our sample and about one centimeter away from the frosted edge. We're going to put a little drop of blood there. So we have our blood with our thumb and our index finger holding the sample slide, the frosted end towards us. We're going to use the spreader slide, draw the spreader slide back at us, about a 30 to 45 degree angle, wait till it spreads across and smoothly slide down. So now we have our second sample here to show you. Hopefully I can get a better view of this. So we have the thicker edge, there we go. So we have the thicker edge closer to the dot towards the top. We have um, increasingly thinner uh, down to the end and we have a nice feathered edge there. So this goes about halfway down the slide. And this one goes about three quarters down the slide. So we're going to take our slides over to our wet sink and we are going to um, dip them over there because we don't have a sink over here. So I will uh, pause the camera for a moment and meet you over at the wet sink. Hello again. So we are back performing BETT 222 task number three, completing it. Um, our We've moved over here to our wet sink um, and our slides have been allowed to air dry butt and down for about 10 minutes. Um, you really you do not want to heat fix um, blood films because it just destroys um, some of the morphology of the cells and it just makes for a really bad film. So you don't want to do that, you want to air dry it. So they've been allowed to do that. Um, they're here drying butt end down on the sink. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take them apart here. So we have two samples, we have our tabletop sample and we have our handheld sample. I'm going to go ahead and show them to you one more time, maybe close up, see if we can get a really good view. So here we go, um, kind of get a good view of them here. So what we have towards the top where my fingers are is the thicker portion of the blood film and that's where multiple layers of blood are contained. So that's going to be a really difficult layer to read cell morphology and see any changes or even count um, for our differential. So we're going to actually want to see what we have here is a really nice feathered edge that's either um, straight across or curved and it looks like mine are curved. Um, we want to see that the blood doesn't go to the outside of the slide. It's a little bit apart um, from the side of the slide so both sides here are not touching the edge and it looks like it makes a gradual um, feathered edge with a really nice taper. Um, there's no lumps or bumps or any scratches. Maybe we could see like this way, kind of. Um, so there's no scratches or lumps or bumps. There's really smooth transition from the thicker portion to the thinner portion down there at the butt end. So um, now we're going to move to dyeing or dipping um, the slides. So you want to make sure um, we have it labeled again here. So we have um, our dip quick here. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in on that so that you can see really close and really well what we are doing here. So we have our first uh, blood film here. We're going to take off the lids of the stain 1, stain 2, and stain 3, which is the fixative, the eosin type stain, and our um, methylene blue type stain. Uh, so we have um, water ready to go to rinse at the end, and we're going to go ahead and um, introduce our slide with our um, clothespin. We don't like to get our hands in it. Even though we have gloves on, we don't want to be messy. So we're going to introduce our slide into the first um, container, which is our fixative. We're going to dip 10 one second dips. So we're on three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In between containers, you want to make sure that excess goes back into its own container. So moving on to diff quick number two, we're going to do ten one second dips in this as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
And then again, any excess is back in its own container. These stains do get contaminated and we do change them out um, frequently. Uh, this one especially um, evaporates even though the lid is on. So you wanna try not to mix the solutions um, between each other. So we have as much excess as we can off of there. We're gonna move on to the third stain, which is our methylene blue type stain, and we're gonna do 10 one second dips in this as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna allow the excess to drip off. And then we are gonna go over here to our water and rinse the slide butt end down with a little gentle stream of water. Okay, so we rinsed with a gentle stream of water and now we have our stain slide, like so. Here we are. Oh gosh, I'm bad at this. And we are going to move over to letting it dry butt end down on the wet table here. I'm going to go ahead and stain this second slide. This was the one that I did the hand spreading technique. Um, I'm going to move the camera a little so we can see the water rinsing this time. So again, our second slide we um, allowed to dry. We're going to um, introduce it into the fixer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten allowing the excess to drip off into its own container. And moving to slide, uh, slide over to dip number two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one second dips. Again, allowing the excess to drip off into the container. And then we're moving on to the third stain one more time. And those are ten, one second dips. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Allowing that excess to drain off into its container. And we're going to go over to the water, hopefully you can see it this time, um, head over to the water and a gentle rinse. I'm going to zoom in just so you can even see a little bit better. So we're going to take it over to the water and rinse it butt end down with a gentle stream of water. Good. So you can see it this time. Okay. Shut off our water and we're going to show you that slide here. Here we are. Here we are. That's a pretty good slide. So I'm going to go ahead and let that air dry butt end down just like its friend over here. I'll show you one more time, close up, that we are allowing those to dry butt end down, and they look really well stained.